Hi, welcome to the Chinese Music Appreciation Service presented by the New York Chinese Culture Center. My name is Yang. In today's video, we are going on a trip with the Chinese flute, Di Zi. The Di Zi or Chinese bamboo flute is a Chinese transverse flute. It is also sometimes known as the Di or Heng Di. The Di Zi or bamboo flute is one of the most popular Chinese instrument in traditional music that is widely used in many genres of folk music, the Chinese opera, as well as the modern Chinese orchestra. The Chinese flute is played horizontally, much like a western flute, and is commonly carved out of a single piece of bamboo with a cord line blow hole. The body of the flute has six finger holes at measured distance. It also features an extra hole between the blow hole and the finger holes, which is covered by a thin membrane of the reed and gives the dizzy a bright, resonant, and a slightly humming tone. While many of the world's cultures have similarly carved flutes, only the dizzy has this unique feature. Most of these are made of bamboo, which explains why it is sometimes known by simple names such as Chinese bamboo flute. However, bamboo is perhaps more of the Chinese instrument classification like woodwind in the West. More than Chinese, this is made from purple or violet bamboo, while these made in Suzhou and Hangzhou are made from white bamboo. These are produced in southern Chinese regions such as Chaozhou are often made of very slender, lightweight, uh, light-colored bamboo and are much more quieter in tone. Although bamboo is the common materials for these, it is also possible to find these made from other kinds of wood or even from stone. The these is not the only bamboo flute of China. Another instrument in the class of Chinese bamboo wind instruments is a vertical and blue shell. The Diz is known for its expressive range as well as its inherent ethereal quality. When played in the middle and upper registers with a quick breath attack, the Diz gives the listeners a lofty, spiny feeling, like floating. Played in the lower registers with a soft breath attack, However, it can bring one to peaceful and grounded retrospection. Today's first stop, we come to Shanxi. If you remember, we visited Shanxi with Erhu in the first video. Shanxi is a northwestern Chinese province. And today, we come to the Guanzhong region, also known as the Guanzhong region. Bounded between the Qingli Mountains in the south and the Huanglong Mountain. The central flatland area of the basin, known as the Guanzhong Plain, is made of alluvial plains along the lower Wei River. Do you remember we learned about the Qing Opera in the first video? There is another opera called Wan Wan Qiang. It is also very popular in this area. During the late Qing Dynasty, Wan Wan Opera was simply shadow poetry with a folk music singing form. In this name, one is in Chinese means bow because the musicians in the band use the bow as the main percussion instrument. People call it Wan Wan Opera. Now, my friend Kitling will play a Diz piece, Qin Chuan Shu Huai, composed by Mr. Ma Di in 1980. In this piece, you will hear a lot of Wan Wan Opera elements and the love from the composer to the Guanzhong region.
At the very beginning, we traveled to Inner Mongolia with the Earl, and today we come back with Denise. The piece Gatlin is going to play for us is the most famous one, Mu Ming Xing Ge, the new song of the herdsman, composed by Mr. Jian Guang Wu in 1966.
Sichuan Bainan is an autonomous prefecture for Dai people in the extreme south of Yunnan province, bordering both Myanmar and Laos. The Dai people are closely related to the Lao and the Thai people who from majorities in Laos and Thailand. Originally, the Dai lived close together in modern Yunnan province until political chaos and wars in the north at the end of Tang and Song dynasty, promoted by the various nomadic people to move further south into modern Laos than Thailand. The Dai are mainly Theravada Buddhism. Dai Buddhism also contains many shamanic belief and practice. The Dai were animists before Buddhism became popular and their belief in nature spirits continues. In the next piece, Kitlin will play bamboo under the moonlight on Hulu Si. The Hulu Si, also known as the Gourd Flute, is a free lead wind instrument. The Hulu Si is usually played by Dai and Yi minorities group in Yunnan. It is usually played by men to show their love towards their lovers. Others play this instrument while taking a break from a field work. Many appreciate the Hulu Si for its warm tone and hunting timbre, but due to its limited volume, it is hardly used in the ensembles. The first Hulu Si was created in 1959, consisting of the 14 notes. In the 70s, the Hulusu was then developed to include two pipes, which toned the force apart from each other. This piece was composed by Mr. Shibonan in 1979. It describes a beautiful scene of two young Dai lovers singing and dancing under the moonlight.
Thank you for watching and in the next video we will hear the four string plug instrument one.